I'm here to audition for the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Congrats. You are the first in line. Um, actually, you seem to be the only one in line. Yeah, I must be early. Bye. Well, step forward and we can process your application. Application? Yes. You should have a properly completed application and release form. Oh, right. Now I just have to remember where I put it. Let's see. Did I put it in my pocket? Nope. Maybe I put it in my shoe for safekeeping. Hmm. Maybe I should check my... Oh, for crying out loud. Will you just come over here already? Okay, even though you don't have your application, I'll make an exception just this once. You are so nice! Trust me, you won't be sorry! When I become a famous actor, I'll be sure to thank all the little fishes that helped me rise to the top! Yeah, well, whatever you say. Right this way, mister. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants! That has got to be the worst stage name I have ever heard. Okay, Mr. Squarepants, the producer, Gil Hammerstein, will be waiting for you past the door. I'm buzzing you in right now. No! I only do studio filming, you crawfish! Filming on location is for chum heads that can't act their way out of a fishbowl! Have you seen The Last Ocean Wars? Ah! No! I'm upset! Um, hello, I- What?! No, nothing, I'm busy right now. Let's do lunch. Who are you?! I'm SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm here to audition for The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! That is the worst stage name I have ever heard. Anyway, sorry kid, the show's officially been cancelled. What? Why?! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are the most beloved superheroes of all time! Well, that may be, kid, but I can't film a TV show without any supporting actors. And none showed up today to audition. Well, besides you. I know lots of people that would love to be in this show. That's great, kid. But audiences these days want big-name actors, amazing special effects, and horrible scripts. Well, our script is horrible. But that's the only thing we got going for us. Mr. Hammerstein, I could get a full cast together in no time. I have lots of friends all over Bikini Bottom. I know you'd have to take a risk to rely on me. I work in television, kid. I never take risks. But I am desperate. Maybe you got something here, kid. Yeah, yeah, I like it! Okay, kid. To go on with this crazy plan, we're gonna need a bunch of actors. So take this playbill and get out there and find some. Oh yeah! If you find any interesting props for the show, bring those back too! The bigger, the better! Woo! You should probably talk to the stars too! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are just outside my office! Oh my gosh! I get to meet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy?! Yeah, sure! Now get out of here and get to work! You're beautiful! Well, what are you gonna do? Like I said, kid, I'm a producer! It's my job not to do anything and look busy doing it! Hello, checker lady! Shh, shh, shh! Don't disturb me! This is an important move, Sonny! Checkers! Ooh, can I play? Not yet! I'm still working on my strategy! Okay, I'll check back later! Bye! Checkers! Ooh, can I play? Yes!
Checkers is a top game to master. It sure is, but you're pretty advanced for a kid your age. Hey, right back at ya. Would you like to be on a TV show that isn't afraid to go out on a limb and hire an elderly cast? Sure, but who are you calling elderly? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! That's great, kid. Now, if you don't mind, get out of the way. You're blocking our view of the TV. Barnacle Boy, that's no way to treat our young hero in training! I have so much to do before filming can begin on the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! Do you think I can ask you guys a few questions to help steer me in the right direction? Ask away! Just be sure to speak loud enough. I can't hear too well anymore. Do you think I can show this save? I mean, save this show? Well now, sure you can, you little whippersnapper. In all my years, I don't think I've ever met such an energetic kid. Well, besides Barnacle Boy, of course. Thanks, I feel more confident already. But I'm actually not a snapper. I'm a SpongeBob. What kind of actors should I look for? Well, kid, to make a good TV show, you need all kinds of characters. He's right. You need heroes, villains, and a screaming woman or two. Do you think I could see the Mermalair? Sorry, the Mermalair is for the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances only. Sad to say that he's not kidding, kiddo. Ooh, I rhyme. Kind of. I know crime fighting has a lot to do with research, but shouldn't you two be out fighting evil? Evil! Oh no, now you went and got him all riled up. Evil! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get working on the show. Bye! Do you know where the remote is, Barnacle Boy? You had it last, you old coot. I saw you drop it down between the seat cushions during your midday nap. Dag nabbit! It must have went down the super secret entrance to the Merma Lair. Wonder if that old blowfish is ever gonna get up and let us have a chance to play. Anxious to resume your learning of the game, my young ward? Yeah, sure. You read my mind. I can read minds. I wish I'd known about that power before. It would have come in handy lots of times. I hope they're serving meatloaf today. They serve meatloaf every day. Oh, right. We should probably get in the lunch line then. It's only 7 a.m. 
All of you youngsters are procrastinators these days. I really wish that lady wasn't hogging the board. Patience is a virtue, my young ally. Not at our age. You know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy would really like to play a game of checkers right now. Why should I care? When you're as old as I am, you gotta have a really good reason to get up from a seated position. Um, is there any way you could get up to let them play? I am a bit hungry, Sonny, but I'll only get up for my favorite meal. Hey, do you know what's being served in the cafeteria right now? No. Is lunch being served early today? Oh, yes, to celebrate, um, National Meatloaf Day. Meatloaf? I love meatloaf. Well, you better go get in the lunch line, then. There you go. Toodaloo. King me. You haven't even made your first move yet, you old coot. You bet I haven't. This here is a thinking man's game. Oh, they look busy. Besides, now is my chance to head down into the mermelayer. It's a good thing that I'm an invertebrate. Whoa, I can't believe it! I'm really in the mermaid air. I can't wait to snoop. Oop, I mean, look around. Wow! The Super Sea Urchin D Scrambler. Superheroes have all the cool toys. When justice needs a hand, uh, use this machine. Wand of Doom! The beautiful air-filled suds it produces can entrance even the most evil of supervillains. The triple-headed bolo anchor! Not even the atomic flounder could escape its grasp. Barnacle Boy's paddle ball of fury! Only it could break the concentration of the evil Dr. Octofish. The devastating might of the Aqua Glove should only be used as a last resort in times of peril. The Shell Calm! This device proves that good communication is definitely a powerful item. Ah, the GPS boot, used in episode 18 to help track down and save a school of netting tuna. The trusty old cosmic ray. It may not be pretty, but it gets the job done. A squid ink bomb, used to help Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy escape danger. The crustaceous hammer. Its power can penetrate even the hardest of shells. The Ultra Grinder 3000. This thing makes awesome fat-free yogurt. The feared Tartar Gun. You knew things were serious when Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy pulled this out. The Aqua Rang is definitely not a toy. It caused the Atlantis riots of 66. Seeing Mermaid Man's disguise in person really makes it obvious why nobody ever discovered his secret identity. The infamous Pickle Belt. Time to fight for truth, justice, and laughter.
<laughs> you fool! Now I am free from that accursed prison of mayonnaise-like condiments. Do you, little yellow sponge boy, have any idea the evil you have released upon the world? Of course! You're Man Ray, the most powerful villain in the sea! Oh, you're the greatest! Yes, I... You are a fan of the evil and hated Man Ray? You bet! They just don't make villains like you anymore! Flattery can only delay your ultimate destruction for the moment, but... If you must, please continue. Nobody could fight Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy the way you did. Thank you, thank you. The importance of villainy is often overlooked. But the day of reckoning is at hand. You know, I'm helping to cast the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Have you ever played a supervillain? Would you like to... Uh... No, I'm through making those fools look good. <laughs> now, I am ready to escape this cave and begin my revenge. You cannot stop me! <laughs> I have to catch him! I bet he's headed for the exit! It is useless to pursue me, boy! My wrath cannot be caged any longer! Oh, amazing! I have to find some way to stop him! And convince him to be in the show! Your chase continues, foolish child! You do not possess the power to stop me! <laughs> oh no! I'm running out of chances! Wait a second. If I remember correctly, in episode 17 of The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, aha! They used the tickle belt on him! The time has come! Finally, my rage will be released unto the world! All I have to do is walk out the door. Ouch! What is this? Some type of force field prevents my path to the door. No! I will not be defeated by such a worn-out cliché! I must remove it! Hmm, the invisible boatmobile must be blocking his way. Now's my chance! Here goes nothing! And activate Tickle! What? What is this? <laughs> Stop! No! No! Stop! <laughs> Man Ray, baby, I really want you to reconsider being in my show. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to leave you there then. No! <laughs> Wait! I'll be in the show of cute movie do gora. Okay then. Um, how do I stop this thing? You, you fool! I demand that you enter this torture now. Oh, maybe this is the off switch. I've already committed to your vile show, Spongy One. Now please, allow me to muster some dignity before I fully submit to your wishes. His tirades are pretty awesome, huh? This button must open the door! Ignition started. All systems go. Oh no.
Boy, am I having an exciting day. What are you up to? Hey, SpongeBob. I just finished setting up my new business. Oh, yeah? What's the business? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to the all-new Starfish Lemonade. A cup a day keeps your thirst away. Where did you get the stuff to build this stand? Oh, I, uh... Borrowed it from the dumpster behind the crusty crab. Can you believe old man crabs would actually throw this stuff away? Can I have a cup of your lemonade? What size do you want? Regular, huge, super, or mega? Oh, I just realized I don't have any money, so I can't buy any. No big deal, pal. Every size is free, except mega. Um, Patrick? Why would anyone pay for a mega size cup when they could just order a regular one for free? Uh... Okay, I'll take a regular cup then. Okay, coming right up. Oh, barnacles. Sorry, SpongeBob, I only have mega sized cups. But if you get 25 cents, just come back. Gone to Tentacle Acres. Good riddance. This is signed by Squidward. Where is Tentacle Acres anyway? Now just relax, Mr. Krabs. Getting yourself upset is just not going to help. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one whose life has just been ruined. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? I'd like to tell you, me boy, but it's just too horrible to put into words. Oh no, what is it? Is the Krusty Krab closing down? No. Did a customer find a scale in the galley grub again? It's much worse, lad. <gasps> I can't take it anymore, what is it? All right, I'll tell you. But I'm warning you, this news ain't for the faint of heart. I, I, I can't count me money anymore! Oh. I told you it was terrible, boy! Now please, let me alone. Your youthful energy is just too much for this old crab to bear. Hi, are you a doctor? Yes, and I'm attending to my patient right now. If you need anything, please ask me quickly. Why can't Mr. Krabs count money anymore? Unfortunately, Mr. Krabs is suffering from a rare condition called Greedius Crustaceanus Tuchipus, better known as Kloppel Tunnel Syndrome. Do you usually make house, uh, business calls? Are you kidding? I hardly even spend time with the patients that come into my office. I was on my lunch break when this cheapskate pulled me in here. I'm obligated to treat anyone in need due to the Shrimpocratic Oath. Is there anything I can do to help Mr. Krabs? Only the royal fry cook who wields the golden spatula can create a patty pure enough to cure Mr. Krabs. Where can I find the golden spatula? The golden spatula can be found at the fry cook's museum here in Bikini Bottom. But... But, 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 but what? Well, you should go see for yourself. Hmm, 
I wonder what's in here. Money, money, money. I'll take one mega cup of lemonade. Woohoo! My first customer! Wow, that was serious stuff. Oh, darn it! What's the matter? That was great lemonade! This business is gonna be a hit! I forgot to get more cups, though. That was my last... Oh, my only one. Well, I guess I'm going out of business. Good for you! Well, now that you're out of a job, would you like to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Oh, would I ever? Great! I just know you'll be a big star! Bye, I, I... Hey, watch it! I know I'm a little out of shape right now. No need to rub it in. like a growing boy. Wanna buy a weenie to help you get big and strong? Isn't this the Fry Cook Museum? Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, business is really slow these days. Besides, the weenie, although often overlooked, is a cornerstone of the fast food market. Nice hat! Didn't your parents teach you not to mock people? No, no, I really do like your hat. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, this may sound a little strange, but how would you like to be in a TV show? Well, that would be great, but I have all these weenies I have to sell. No problem. Everyone on set will be hungry. I bet they'd love some weenies. Really? Well, uh, could I wear my hat in the show? I hope that you do. Great! Sign me up! Truly a historic artifact. Oh, the endless ketchup vat! This helped end the Great Condiment Depression. The father of all fry cooks! The great Krusty McPatty! Oh, he was a brilliant and talented man. Hey! Hold it right there, buddy. Only official fry cooks can attempt to pull the golden spatula out of the vat of ancient Greece. But I am a fry cook, and I need that spatula to help a friend of mine. Yeah, sure, kid. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you can answer some questions, I'll let you try. It's not like some kid could ever pull the golden spatula out, right? Okay, ready? You betcha! Are you a fry cook? Uh, yeah, I already told you that. No, oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, next. Where do you work? The Krusty Krab, of course. Ah, the finest establishment in Bikini Bottom. Maybe you are for real. Let's see. Who is your boss? My boss is Mr. Eugene Krabs, the most generous crustacean in all of Bikini Bottom. <laughs> generous! <laughs> okay then, you're almost done. What makes the Krusty Krab so famous? The Krabby Patty. Nothing can rival the delicious might of this amazing fast food delicacy. Now I'm hungry. Finally, how is a Krabby Patty correctly put together? Easy! 
bottom bun, patty, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, tomato, top bun, in that order. Unbelievable! You may be the one! Now that you passed my test, feel free to try your luck up on the podium. Whoso pulleth out that spatula from that vat of ancient Greece is rightwise dubbed the Royal Fry Cook. Your job is pretty much done here. Would you like to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Vamp? You are the one, the royal fry cook. My will is yours to command. Um, great. Of the sea! What a delicious patty! I can count again! I'm cured! I can always count on you, laddie. I'd give you a raise, but I wouldn't want to cheapen your heroic deeds. <clears throat> no need to cheapen my services either. You'll receive my bill in the mail. Ah, you're all the same! One minute you're cuddling me like a wee babe, and later you're sticking a gaff in me side! Mr. Krabs, how would you like to be rich and famous? Ha <laughs> I'm already both those things, me boy. But, I mean, you know, you can never be too rich. Exactly. Want to be in a television show? Actors get paid tons of money. That's music to me ears, lad. I'll follow the smell of money over to the set. Excellent. How would you like to be an actor on television? I'm a doctor, not an actor. I'd say you're dramatic enough to be an actor. Will I have to work any harder than I did here? No! And boy, are you a natural at acting like a doctor! Bye! Okay, I'll do it. Terrific! Jellyfish the movie! Good afternoon, Bikini Bottom! This is Mac Mackerel coming to you live from the convention center in downtown Bikini Bottom, hoping to catch first-hand coverage of the big unveiling! That's right! The largest pearl to ever be recovered from the ocean floor is making its first public appearance right here in Bikini Bottom! What's that? I'm sorry, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties right now. Please excuse us for this uh, broadcast delay. Our technicians will be working to fix the problem. Hi, what's going on today? Today was supposed to be the big showing of the ocean's largest pearl. But we just got word that its delivery has been delayed. 
To make things even worse, our camera guy brought the wrong equipment, so we can't continue filming here anyway. What happened to the pearl? We're getting mixed reports, but one thing is for sure. Without a really large pearl to show off, I have no story. What's wrong with the equipment that your camera guy brought? The power supply he brought is run with a solar-powered collector. What's wrong with solar power? Nothing! Except we're indoors right now, aren't we? Ah, oh, there's no sun indoors, yeah! No, no. I, Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters, use only the finest jellyfishing nets. Next question. Oh my gosh, it's my other hero! Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters. It's only the most premier jellyfish enthusiast club. Now's my chance to talk to him. Hi, Kevin. What do you want? Hi, Kevin. I said, what do you want, kid? Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Okay, cut it out or I'll call security. Could I become a member of the Jelly Spotters? <laughs> a twerp like you could never become a Jelly Spotter. Why not? Well, for starters, I bet you couldn't catch a jellyfish even if it swam right into those ridiculous pants of yours. <laughs> I'll have you know that I'm an expert jellyfisher. Yeah, sure. What makes you think you're an expert? Well, once I caught the famed King Jelly. <laughs> That's a riot! Next thing you're gonna tell me is that you live in a big pineapple, right? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> well, where is it then? I released it back into jellyfish fields. Okay, then I tell you what, kid. If you can catch the King Jelly again, I'll let you become a member of the Jelly Spotters, and I'll even throw in a free tube of Kevin C. Cucumber's Sting Protection Ointment. Here he is. It, it can't be. Nidaria Rex, the King Jelly. Can I be a member now? Uh, I, I, I guess so. Here, take this. Hey, Kevin. Now that I'm a fellow Jelly Spotter, I want to ask you to be in a TV show I'm casting. So let me get this straight. Now that you've ruined my reputation and defamed me, you want me to be on TV? You bet. Well. That makes just about as much sense as everything else around here. I'm in! Hey there! What you doing with all this equipment? I'm attempting to begin a comprehensive study on the migration patterns of the amazing life form known as the jellyfish. 
Really? I just love jellyfishology. Yes, well, that's all well and good, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough power to supply to my various instruments and devices. Without their calculations, I cannot complete my study. What's wrong with your power supply? I only have one battery to run all of this equipment, and it doesn't have enough power. I should have brought a solar-powered energy collector. The sun is shining so bright today that it would certainly be enough to run all of my equipment at maximum efficiency. Can you tell me anything interesting about jellyfish? Certainly, although it may shock you. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to hear about jellyfish. Well, most people see the jellyfish as a mindless blob of goo that drifts through its life with no purpose. However, I have discovered that they are actually a superior alien race whose plan is to boldly go where no jellyfish has gone before. And they pick Bikini Bottom? Well, my studies have found that they are searching for a mysterious portal that leads to another realm. According to my calculations, the portal should be right here, somewhere in the jellyfish fields. I bet they won't mind if I take a little jelly. I never noticed this cave before. Is there a more majestic creature than a wild oyster? for making really big sand castles? No, it's a metal detector that I use for finding buried treasure, but it's really not much good for anything right now. What's wrong with it? The problem is that its battery is dead, so it doesn't work anymore. It's not fair. I was so close! Ooh, have you found any treasure? No, but I know that I'm close to the greatest treasure in all the sea. What treasure is that? Why, the lost treasure of the infamous Flying Dutchman, of course! Legend has it, he buried his treasure right here on this beach. All I have to do is find it. Whoa, great story. I'll say, too bad this darn metal detector is useless now. Hey Larry, how's your workout going today? Hey SpongeBob, my workout was turning out truly righteous today. My pecs were almost bursting out of my shell, but then the worst thing happened. Oh no, what? Well, I was over at the Pincher Press, and I was using some pretty gnarly weight. During my last set, I slipped and overextended my thorax. Now I can't even finish my workout. Maybe you should take it easy for the rest of the day. No way, little buddy. A lifeguard has to stay in perfect shape. I mean, people's lives are at stake, dude. Can I do anything to help? I need some fast energy to make sure I don't pull any more of my muscles. The juice bar makes a great drink with wild berries that really works great. But... But what? Can't you just get some of this wild berry energy drink from the juice bar? I would, but they're out of the wild berries. a wild berry energy drink? You mean a crustacean cooler? Yeah, sure, that's it. Well, we're out of wild berries, and I don't have the recipe anymore, either. What did you do with the recipe? I gave it to some guy with two hands. He's a bouncer at some place, supposed to be really tough. If you can bring me the wild berries and the recipe together, I'll make you some crustacean cooler. I really need to learn how to swim. Oh well, at least I can catch some nice rays. 
I'll just head in there and slip into my bathing suit. Hey, hurry up. Just a minute, please. There's other people out here waiting, you know. I said just a minute! All right, that's it. If you aren't coming out, then we're coming in. This place oozes evil. Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? I'm, uh, really tough, so uh, I guess I'll be going in. Only, of course, if you'd say it's okay, sir. But, uh, sirs. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, kid, but I've seen grandmothers that are tougher than you. Yeah, me too. Shut up, you. What makes you so tough? Um, well, I... Never mind that dummy. Take this recipe, kid. It tells you how to make crustacean cooler. Yeah, it can even make a weenie like you pretty tough. Now can I go in? No way. Yeah, a kid like you belongs next door. Weenie Hut Juniors. Weenie Hut Juniors? I was wondering if a couple of tough guys like yourselves want to be in a new action-packed TV show. Is it a tough show? Chock full of action and toughness. Hey, then we're in. Awesome! Two actors for the price of one. Bye! I hey, Marvin! How's it going? Glad you finally made it here, SpongeBob. What do you mean, finally? I mean that you finally admitted to your weeniness. But I'm not a weenie! But you are here at Weenie Hut Juniors. I uh, I'm here on business. What's the best thing to have here? The jellyfish jelly ice cream is the best, but they're all out of jellyfish jelly. But they still have plain ice cream. Uh, just ask the guy at the counter and he'll give you some. Well then, why do you hang out here? I have learned to embrace myself as a weenie, and I'm not ashamed anymore. Believe me, you'll be a lot happier when you freely admit that you are one too. But I'm not a weenie! Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Um, that depends. On what? Is the show based on the challenge of the League of Super Acquaintances or the later and definitely less cool Mermaid Man and his Finny Friends Adventure Hour? I don't know, but I bet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will sign an autograph for you if you do it. Oh boy, I'm in. Can I have some ice cream? Coming right up. Here you go, weenie. But I'm not a weenie! Aha! That did it!
Pshaw! What could be dangerous about jumping headfirst into a gigantic, swirling purple vortex? I wonder where I am now. Hi there. Would you be able to tell me where I am? Well, you know what they say. You can lead a seahorse to water, but you can't make it swim. Ah, kelp. The salad of the sea. can find it all over the ocean floor. There's definitely something special about this pile of sand. I mean, do you really believe all that nonsense about staying away from wild berries? I should probably make it a rule to steer clear of any massive steaming lakes of goo that I come across out here. Maybe this little fella could use a little extra sand for his bag. that I've been here before. Maybe someone who lives around here can tell me where I am. Hi there. I'm sort of lost. Would you mind... What's that you say? I see. You're tired of eating seaweed and want some jelly ice cream instead. Of course I can understand you. Ice cream is the universal language. I'll be back as soon as I can find some. Just lying around. Is this postmodernism or just a fin painting? Are you okay? I haven't seen anyone get stung like that since the great jelly scare of 47. 
That's a lovely self-portrait. It must have taken days to chisel it. Ah, 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 squawk. You should really get some sting protection ointment on those welts. Squawk, ah, ah. There's no need to get excited. I'll get you some. I must say that you're looking a lot less creepy now. How would a cultured art lover like yourself like to conquer the art form of acting? Hey, squawk! No, no, no giant jellyfish will be allowed on the set. Squawk! You'll do it? Wonderful! You know, you look just like my best buddy Patrick, except you're a little bit, well, hairier. Wow, you sound a lot like him too! What you doing out here? Well, silly! That's because you should cook your food before you eat it! It doesn't look like you have a fry grill anywhere close around here, so we'll have to come up with something a bit more primitive. I'm sure this will work, just like it does in the movies! Now you can eat some decent grub. Well, I guess you can cook the grubs into grub that you can grub on. <laughs> now that your tummy feels better, would you mind if I signed you up to be in a TV show I'm helping to put together? Of course there will be free food. We have catering. Great! I'll see you soon! Wow, a fire pit! This is what the fry cooks of old used. Wow, that little guy sure grew up. That is one huge oyster. I wonder if it remembers me. And I mean a real big splash. Great! I dub the Clamu. It's about time you showed up. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Now get out of here and get to work. You're beautiful.
Is this pearl big enough? Holy sea cow, where'd you get that? Never mind, that's definitely big enough. Hey, I'll tell you what, as a reward, you can have the solar-powered collector. Maybe you can find a use for it. When your report is over, do you think you might be interested in appearing in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Well, I am great on camera, but I'm still a journalist at heart. Hey, maybe you could do an investigative report about what it's like to be on a hit TV show. Yeah, yeah! Documentaries are huge these days! Count me in! <laughs> This contraption help out with your power problems? Hmm. Why, yes. It most certainly will. Once I connect this solar collector to my devices, they will begin functioning properly again. I can't thank you enough for your help, but... Here, take this battery. Although it was not enough to power my equipment, it may still be of use to you. Wow, thanks! I know you're very busy, but I'm casting a TV show called The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and I would like you to be in it. Can I bring some jellyfish on the show? Sure, every good superhero show has some aliens in it somewhere. This battery get your metal detector working again? Hmm. Yeah, I think it will work. Now just give me a moment. Aha! I've got something! That's it? One measly coin and some dumb piece of paper? I knew I should have listened to me, mother. She told me to stay in school and become a doctor, but no, I had to go off and become a treasure hunter. What a waste. Here's your share, kid. Wow, thanks. I guess. Now that you've found the treasure you were searching for, would you like to be in a TV show? Sure. I gotta pay the bills somehow. Great. See you on the set. <laughs> That isn't going to work. That isn't going to work. If you can bring me the wild berries and the recipe together, I'll make some crustacean cooler. Well, squeeze me dry and call me Gerald. It works! Okay, one crustacean cooler coming right up. Here you go. Take a slug of this! Whoa! Awesome! Thanks, SpongeBob. I am totally back in shape and ready to work out again. I know lifeguarding is really important, but would you be interested in being on a TV show? Is it a show about lifeguarding? Well, it is a show about heroes. Count me in then, as long as I can work out between takes. in my day. What is that 
noise? Don't hear you, idiot! It's me, Plankton! Oh, where are you? I'm underneath the stupid robot. Get it off of me! How did you get under the robot? I forgot to oil the joints on the dumb thing this morning and it got stiff. Yeah, yeah, okay, but how'd you get under it? I'm getting to that, you twit. Ahem. I was over here working on a plan to conquer the wo- I mean, a plan to stop world hunger. And this thing got stiff and fell over on top of me. How can I help? You'd have to get some oil to loosen up the joints on this worthless robot of mine. That's easy. Back in a jiffy. Wait a second, you idiot. When the robot fell, it also broke the controller I used to operate it. Oh, so I need to get something besides the oil? Yeah, you'll need some kind of portable communicator to control it after it's been oiled. Hurry! This thing is crushing my spleen! Locked. I wish I knew the key code. Biologic analysis of the secret formula is stalled at 99%. The final parameter, aka ingredient, cannot be determined. Hi, Karen. Are you still trying to discover the secret formula of a Krabby Patty? Ah, uh, negatory. I'm uh, uh, analyzing a different secret formula. Oh, okay. Well then, do you know the combination to open up the storage closet? Of course I know the combination, but I cannot give it to you. Why not? I am only programmed to give that combination to Plankton. Can't you make an exception? No. Are you and Plankton, um, you know, uh, betrothed? You're a nosy little sponge, aren't you? Karen! I order you to give me the combination to that storage closet. Oh, what's the matter? Are your plans for world domination not coming together? Again? No need to rub it in. Now hand over that combination! Oh, nice to see you too, honey. <laughs> I knew it. What did you say? Uh, nothing, dear. Hey, Karen, how would you like to be in a TV show? Very funny. And who am I supposed to be in the show? Someone's laptop? No! In fact, I find you possess a soul and wit not often found in macroprocessors. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll upload myself over to the set. Um, okay? That was computer humor. Oh, never mind. Uh-huh, this should do it. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> Awesome! Now I just need to find some kind of wireless controller to get him off of Plankton! It's about time, you imbecile! Another second under there and I'd have been a goner! Now I can get back to world domination! Hey, Plankton! Now that you're free, how would you and Robotic SpongeBob like to be in a TV show? Hmm, a popular worldwide medium could be used to manipulate the thoughts and minds of the countless mindless idiots that watch! Count us in! Oh, look! Mermaid Man's magic conch! Follow the seahorse. There he goes!
thanks for helping me get through that, buddy. Hey, wanna be in a TV show? Animal actors can become pretty famous, you know. <laughs> Great. Now I just have to teach you how to talk. was tough to get to. I barely made it out of the kelp forest. Well, glad you made it out here, stranger. Yeah, no telling what could have happened to you in that there forest. Thanks. What are you guys doing way out here? Well, we're out here at this dig site hoping to find a priceless artifact. That's right. Somewhere yonder out here is a real sought after item. How do you know some special artifact thingy is around here? Well, see, the Flying Dutchman himself has come here looking for this prize. I saw his ship anchored not but a moment's walk from this very spot. You know it has to be something special if he's here a looking for it. Do you have any idea where to look for it? Rumors say the Flying Dutchman had a map marking its exact location. But he buried it somewhere a long time ago. Yeah, I reckon if we had that map, we could find it in a jiffy. Yeah, but we need a compass to use with the map too, though. Well, we already got a compass. We do? Where? It's right there in the tent, you chowder head. SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! I always knew I could do it! Nuh uh! Not even close! Any luck yet, guys? No, this here is a big area. Yes, sir! But if we had a treasure map and a compass, we could find it easy enough! Ah, Eureka! Let's go after it! We dug! We dug! Alrighty, here it is! A wonderful, glorious... Old sock? You have got to be kidding me! I can't believe we've spent all this time looking for a dirty, holy piece of foot coffee. There you go, kid. If any of us deserve this priceless item, it's you. Wahoo! I think it's even pirate boot scented. Hey, now that your dreams have been totally crushed, how would the two of you like to be in a TV show? What's TV? Ah, shucks, you dummy. A TV is one of those little boxes that lights up all party and such. Oh, in that case, sure we'll be in your little show. Yep. Ain't like we got much to do out here anymore. Right! Feel free to take a bath beforehand, you know, if you want to. <laughs> This ominous green glowing rope doesn't seem dangerous at all. I wonder where it goes. Hi, can you tell me? your voice echo, echo, echo like that? Aren't you afraid of my ghosty visage? Can you breathe fire? Uh, no. If you learned how to breathe fire, you'd be scarier. All right, that's enough. What do you want, kid? I don't have all eternity to answer your questions. Well, maybe I do, but, but that doesn't mean I will. What are you doing out here on the deck? Well, it's the second Saturday of the month, which means today I have to swab the deck. The problem is I can't find my mop anywhere. 
Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to scare away anyone that gets near the ship. Something tells me you're not gonna get a raise anytime soon. Thanks, kid. You really know how to kick a ghost when he's down. How can I get into the captain's quarters? Well, I have the key, but the captain is busy right now and doesn't want to be disturbed. Besides, if he finds out that I haven't swabbed the deck yet, he'll probably send my soul into the dark abyss. That doesn't sound like fun at all. You have no idea. What was that? Oh, no! Hey, where are you going? Ah! It's a mutiny! All hands on deck! Man your stations! I'll head over to the ectoplasmic containment flinger. Excuse me, are you the captain of the ship? Ha <laughs> You bet your shiny black booties I am! I be the captain of this fine vessel, that it be the scariest ship to ever sail the seven seas! Oh, you're the flying Dutchman! All right, you be, laddie! Now who might ye be who's foolish enough to step foot into me quarters? I'm SpongeBob SquarePants! Well then, Mr. Squarebottom. Do you be having any last words before I turn you into a member of me ghostly crew? You seem a little angry. Anything wrong? Aye, there is, you sea dog. I'm actually a sea sponge. Silence! A long time ago, I buried my most prized possession right here in the sea floor below us. Now I've come back for me beloved dining sack but I can't seem to remember where I buried it. What's so special about some old sock anyway? Some old sock? Why I should roast you where you stand. Me dining sock is the only thing that keeps me foot from getting cold when I sit down to eat. I've grown hungry for so long. Sorry if I seem a little sour, laddie, but I've been starving for quite a while. really gonna make me a member of your crew for all eternity? Uh, I'm afraid it's part of me ghostly contract. No! No! I don't think I'm cut out to be a pirate. Well, I guess I'll just have to send you into the dark abyss. Ah! All right, all right. If you get out of here in the next five seconds, I won't do anything horrible. Shoo! 
Is this your special dining sock? Shiver me timbers and hoist me sails! It's me dining sock! I can finally eat again! Hooray! In fact, I'm so hungry that I think I'll start with you! What? Ah! Hey, relax, laddie. Just ghost pirate humor. You've returned my dining sack, and for that, I owe you something. I will grant ye three wishes, of which you may ask me for anything your heart desire. Wow, three wishes! I know just what I'll ask for. I'm ready to use my three wishes. Well, let's have them then. I haven't got all day. Oh, I really wish you wouldn't rush me. Fine, take all the time you need. Two wishes left. No, oh, no. I wish I'd learned to keep my big mouth shut. I thought you'd never ask. You got one wish left. Oh, barnacles! I wish that you would take a part on the new Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show. Rawr. The only thing worse than starving is television. So be it. Your wish has been granted. Today is your final voting exam. On each of your desks is a blank sheet of paper. Please write a 100-word essay describing what you learned in voting school. Also, be sure to use pencils only. Hi, Mrs. Puff. SpongeBob, I've already given the instructions for the test. Now please take your seat and start writing your essay. Mrs. Puff. Isn't it a little early for us to be taking the final exam? I mean, the school year only started yesterday. Don't be silly, SpongeBob. I'm confident in the voting skills of this class. Besides, the faster you graduate, the faster I can go on vacation. <laughs> can I have a pencil for the test? I must have left mine at home. <sighs> I miss the good old days. Children used to revere their teachers. They would give them juicy apples to show their love and appreciation. And in return, the teacher would give them a nice new pencil. Oh! Oh! Tools of the trade. Hey, Morty. How's it going, man? Not good. I keep forgetting the combination of my locker, so I wrote it down. No, I can't get my favorite crackers out of my locker for lunch. Oh, sorry to hear that, pal. Where's the combination? If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't have a problem. Last time I knew I had it, I was in the play yard. But I was in a rush to get to class. I must have lost it out there. Can I cheer you up? I don't think so. I'm so bored right now. I wish I had something fun to do. I have something fun you can do! Oh yeah? Like what? Wanna be in a TV show starring Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? You bet I would! Mermaid Man is so awesome! Strange, I didn't see this a minute ago. This combination should work. Ah, 
Now I can visit Teddy. Ah, that apple is up way too high for me to reach it. where Tentacle Acres is. No thanks. I've already had enough exercise today. Hey, Sandy! Sorry, SpongeBob, no time to talk right now. I'm frazzled more than a lightning bug in a thunderstorm. I'm craving some chocolate-covered nuts and I want them now! Sandy, you uh, don't seem like yourself right now. I reckon you're right. I never thought my cravings would get this bad, but I guess every girl has got her weakness. How can I help? Well, if you could find me some chocolate-covered nuts, then I reckon I'd be just fine. I'll bet this thing gets great reception. Watch your wisecracks about my furniture, SpongeBob, or you're gonna find yourself strung up by your britches. Hello there, little guy. You look hungry. Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry because Sandy and her chocolate-deprived craze forgot to feed you? I'm not sure what you would eat. Would a cracker do the trick? Maybe if I feed you, you'll transform into a beautiful butterfly and fly up to the tree and knock down one of those apples for me. That's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Eat up, little guy! An apple a day is a-okay! Here you go, Mrs. Puff! Oh, SpongeBob, I'm so surprised. You really do care. You actually brought me an apple. <gasps> oh. Yeah, it was a pretty good one, too. Only rotten on one side. Oh, SpongeBob, why? Hey, Mrs. Puff, I know this probably isn't the best time, but... What do you want now, SpongeBob? Well, you're my favorite teacher, and I really want you to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show that I'm helping to cast. If I say yes, will you leave me be? Sure! Okay, then. I'll be along as soon as I calm down. I can use this to sharpen a new pencil. I'm here to visit my friend Squidward. Sorry, no kids are allowed in Tentacle Acres. <clears throat> Where happiness is just a suction cup away. Besides, the harmonious peace that our community revels in would only appear dull and boring to a child like yourself. Oh, but I really need to see my friend. Enough, air. Take this movie ticket and go cloud your mind with an endless supply of meaningless rabble. Grown-ups sure use a lot of large words.
Hey, can I come in? Sure you can, if you got a ticket. Here's my ticket. Right this way, sir. Hey, wake up. What, what, what? What's going on? Sorry I had to wake you up, but I really need something from the snack bar. Oh no, my boss is going to be so angry. I better get back to work. Isn't it amazing the way some companies advertise? What's the matter? Some crazed maniac is playing music in public! Classical or jazz? Worse, progressive rock! Oh! Oh no! Not that! I'll be there on the double! That should keep him busy long enough for me to get in! Wow! It's probably really important to know your address around here. Squidward! I have been looking everywhere for you. Hello, SpongeBob. You have to come back to Bikini Bottom with me right now. You have to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I wish I could. Well, let's go then! I can't! This place is so boring that I've lost my will to get up and do anything. I thought you liked it here. I did at first, but then after doing the same thing day after day, I got so bored that I actually missed being home. <gasps> you really missed me? All right, enough of the savvy stuff. You have to help me. How can you get your energy back? I could get you an energy drink. To be honest, I'd prefer a nice mug of cocoa. No problem. There has to be a coffee shop around here somewhere. Those things are everywhere. Great. And don't forget the whipped cream. I always have whipped cream in my hot cocoa, and you can only get that at Bargain Mart. Okay, then. Hang in there, buddy. With you on the job, SpongeBob, I'm sure I'll be hanging for quite a while. Can I have a cup of cocoa, please? None for me. I'm watching my figure. Welcome to Barge and Mart. Hi, where do you keep the whipped cream? What do you want it for? Huh? <laughs> huh? It's, uh, actually for a friend of mine. <laughs> sure it is, pal. It's over there in the back. This is your lucky day. They're giving away free samples. Take as much as you want. No charge. Really? Thanks! Oh no. What's wrong? We're having a sale on sea nut butter starting at noon today. So? That's fantastic! It's fantastic for everyone except me! Have you ever seen a horde of coupon-clad housewives loading up on cheap groceries? Uh, no. Well, you're about to!
You can come out now. They're all gone. You, you saved me. I've never seen such amazing service skills. Well, I've had some practice. Hey, now that things have calmed down around here, would you like to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Anything will be better than this job. Great! An enthusiastic person like you will set a great example for the rest of the cast to follow. Great items at low, low prices. This must be the last bottle. It's a good thing they hid it back here in the Kelpo section. Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Hey, did you ever manage to track down Mr. Progressive Rock? How did you know about that? And... How did you get in here? Um... You tricked me. Sorry. I'm gonna lose my job because of you. Oh, no! Hey, maybe I can help you out. Ow. I can get you a new job as an actor on the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. If I must give in to this kind of corruption to survive, then so be it. Yeah, is that a yes? Yes, you fool. Here you go! One hot cocoa with whipped cream on top! Delicious! Perfect! Wonderful! SpongeBob, you actually did something right for a change. Now that you're feeling better, will you be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? If you didn't get me out of this dump, then count me in. Uh-huh. He's back to his old self again. boy over there they are superheroes right playing checkers who can we send over there to take care of this mess anything i can do mr hammerstein it's about time you showed up listen the dirty bubble is over on the set and he's wrecking the place get over there pop those bubbles and get that mess cleaned up okay uh, what are you gonna do haven't we been over this already kid You didn't get in any trouble. I didn't, thanks to you. I got back just in time. My boss is a real codfish, you know. Could I have a chocolate bar? For the guy who saved my scales, you bet. Why were you sleeping in the bathroom anyway? 
Well, this job isn't very action-packed, if you know what I mean. It's easy to fall asleep when the most exciting thing you do all day is scrape old gum off of the countertop. Since this job is letting you down, why don't you try a career as an actor? That sounds great! Too bad I have no idea how to act. No problem! Acting is the easy part. Getting cast on a show is the real trick. Okay, but who would put me in their show? I would! Consider yourself cast on the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! Wow! Sleeping on the job was the smartest move I made in a long time. <laughs> Now I can visit Sandy. I wonder what could be in here. I always knew I could do it! Better now, Sandy. Ooh, yeah. SpongeBob, I'm sorry for acting so strange before. It's no big deal. Oh, it is to me. I owe you one, little buddy. Sandy, I'm helping to put together a cast for the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I'd really like you to be in it. Anything for you, SpongeBob. But what makes you think I can be an actress? Are you kidding? Only a great actress can act as crazy as you did. Well, okay. Let's get this show on the road! You probably have a bit of a brain freeze right now, but would you like to be in a TV show? <laughs> Glad to hear it! Mr. Hammerstein is sure gonna be happy about this! It's about time you showed up! Yeah, yeah, I like it! Now get out of here and get to work! You're beautiful! collected your ticket, so please enjoy the show. Mm-hmm. 
wonder what this button does. What have you done this time, you old coot? Mermaid Man! That's it! This time, I'm calling the police! Quick, Mermaid Man. We need to get out of here to work out what's going on. This all looks... evil. Evil? Quick, Barnacle Boy, to the Mermaid! Shh! Don't give away our secret hideout. Oh, yes. Uh, good point, Barnacle Boy. To the, um... To the secret marmalair! Away! To the invisible bolt mobile! Wait, Mermaid Man. I have some powder spray to help us find the invisible bolt mobile. No time for that. I sense evil! It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. They've destroyed Shady Shoals and they're trying to escape. All units proceed with necessary speed. I got him. Over. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been arrested for the theft of one rest home and are under the suspicion of theft for a number of other buildings around Bikini Bottom. I was nowhere near my utility belt at the time. I was just trying to flush the toilet, I tell ya. You think that's bad? Try actually committing some exceptional crimes, only to get arrested for jaywalking. <laughs> this whole building theft scheme could never have been cooked up by those two idiots. <laughs> I concur. In fact, it seems like the sneaky hermit is up to his old tricks again. He certainly is a crafty one. I've never heard of Sneaky Hermit. What does he do? Well, basically, he steals buildings. Well, Man Ray, <laughs> it appears that there has been a clerical error and you're free to go. <laughs> and it appears, Dirty Bubble, that you are too. Come now, there's crime to be had. Oh, uh, evil. Evil! To the invisible boatmobile! We have to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail at the Shady Shoals. Away! Well, it seems that Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been cleared of the building thefts, but the real culprit is still at large. <laughs> Content to merely hold the rest home upon my back. I want more. A whole city belongs with me. A whole country. The whole world! We've come to welcome you to the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, the neighborhood of evil. And if there's anything we can do to help you settle in, <laughs> feel free to... Take this creature and go set up a distraction for the fools who would seek to stop me. That should keep them gone just long enough. <laughs> Meow. 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 No clues there, Mermaid Man. Well spotted, Barnacle Boy. Looks like we have to talk to the only man in town who knows everyone in Bikini Bottom inside and out. The X-ray doctor? Yes. The, I mean, no. I'm talking about Krupps the chef. A simple man, perhaps, but sometimes it is only when one who sees life simply that one can perceive its true meaning. Wow, that's really deep, Mermaid Man. Huh? What's deep? Do I know you? Yeah, I've heard of him. What have you heard? I've heard that he's, uh, really sneaky. Well, that's groundbreaking information. I have one more question, Grubs. How's my order of meatloaf coming along? And now that Moron Ray and the Dopey Bubble are occupied, it's time to add a bit more evil to my home. This task should impress oh, our new neighbor! <laughs> yes, I see many wonderful years of villainy ahead. 
Stand down, fools! This ingenious fry cooking device has rendered our victim helpless. Yes, take one step closer, and it's fry damsel in distress. What? Ah, you fool! You have to save the damsel! Do I have to spell everything out for you? Dirty Bubble, come and let us retire to my lair, where we shall imbibe the rich nectar of the steamed Terrazzo Monticello and feast on a delectable selection of profiteroles. Huh? <sighs> coffee and donuts. Let's go get some coffee and donuts. Why I even bother talking to you, I'll never know. It looks like she's set to be floured, battered, lightly seasoned, and then cooked until she's crispy brown, uh, with the option of salt. Don't worry, little lady. We'll get you out of there. Turns out that sneaky hermit sent us here to keep us occupied while he stole our secret lairs. That really is sneaky. I propose a temporary truce to rid us of this sneaky foe. So, Lean Green Marine the Biologist, what can you tell us about the Sneaky Hermit's possible weakness? A what? Speak English, or I will crush your brain into a lumpy mass with which I could spread across my morning toast. I love toast! Perfect! To the final showdown! Away! It seems as if the sneaky hermit cannot be stopped. Why, right now he's even stealing this very news station! Your reign of terror... And your reign of sneakiness... ...has come to an end. Well, well. Do you truly believe your little pathetic alliance is enough to stop me? Our combined might will spell your ultimate doom, sneaky one! <laughs> You've run out of places to run and hide, sneaky hermit! Enough! Now my true power shall be unleashed in all its sneaky glory! No, no, no! <laughs> oh, you cannot withstand this awesome surface tension! You'll pay for that. Ha! <laughs> I've seen better moves from a baby seal! I'm for the secret weapon! Yes, now, while he is occupied! No! 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 How could you know? You! <laughs> My only weakness! Lack <laughs> you! Hey, Dan Ray! What now? Um, you fought well, do gooders, but now we must bid you adieu. Come, Dirty Bubble, and let our evil be set free upon the world once again. Yes, let us force this clean taste from our mouths. <laughs> well, I guess everything is back to normal again. Yep. Mm hmm. Are you gonna pull your pants up, Mermaid Man? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. Found you! No! Please! Don't let her take me back there! Please! Take me to the cops! To prison! To a sci-fi convention! Just... Please! Not there! <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, get yourselves back to Shady Shoals now! Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh.